Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life in Mundane, and today we're going to be talking about diaper bags. Now, I know that that doesn't sound really exciting, but I want to share with you my five things that I never leave my home without and that are a little abnormal. So I can't wait to share with you guys the five things I think you should all have in your diaper bag. So let's get started. Obviously, we all know you never leave home without diapers and wipes, but what about beyond that? What do you do for the rest of the stuff? Obviously, you know, there are so many lists out there of things that you can pack in your diaper bag, but there are several tools that I actually think that are really helpful to have in your diaper bag that a lot of people don't typically think of. Now, I do want to preface this with saying that I am talking about a diaper bag for both a newborn and for a toddler or an older like preschooler that's not quite potty trained. So there is a wide range here and some of this stuff obviously may or may not apply to a newborn the same way it would to a toddler, but these are five things that you will eventually need in your diaper bag. So I wanna share those things with you guys today. So number one may seem kind of obvious, but it's actually for an unobvious reason. Lanoline cream is something that you should never be without, and I don't just mean for breastfeeding moms. This is not just cream for nursing moms. It actually makes fantastic diaper rash cream. So I actually have a friend that gave me this for my very first baby for a baby shower, and she told me it was the best thing for a diaper rash and would take care of it um, very, very quickly and easily. And I was shocked to see the results. And now this is the only thing I use for diaper cream. So definitely keeping this in your diaper bag. Again, baby to toddler, no matter what, as long as you have kids in diapers, this is the thing that you need to grab and have in your diaper bag. Number two, I like to have a Norwex mini Enviro cloth and a spray bottle of water in my diaper bag at all times because I want to be able to have something handy and nearby that I can use to wipe up hands or faces, but also something that I can use if need be on shopping carts or tables at a restaurant or even the chairs in the doctor's office. When before we sit down, I'll wipe those down a lot of times just during cold and flu season to keep from getting germs. And so this is something that is quick and easy to throw in your bag and and I actually have a little wet wipes bag that I actually keep it in and I have that there so that I can put the wet ones in the wet pocket and the dry ones in the dry pocket. But easy, quick, and something that you should not leave home without. Item number three that I always recommend having is Baby Insect Repellent. Baby Ganix brand and it's from Target or you can get it on Amazon. I've found some really good deals over the years at the end of the summer and I always snag a few bottles. But having this in my diaper bag has been a lifesaver. I don't know about you, but my kids get eaten alive by bugs and winter, summer, doesn't matter, but it's always really brutal. And the thing is people oftentimes have bug spray, but not bug spray that's safe for babies. So having that in your diaper bag so you always have it ready when you're, you know, it doesn't have to just be for these big outdoor times. I can't tell you how many times I've been over to a friend's house and had a play date or we ended up grilling out or something last second and would have never thought to bring this. So having the baby bug spray and maybe even baby sunscreen is always a good thing to throw in your diaper bag. Item number four, I think this is probably one of those items that again, a lot of people don't even know exists, but is bumps and bruises stick. So it is a, I get it on Amazon, but you can also get it in a lot of Whole Foods, health food stores, but it is basically an, a tube of Arnica. You just pull it out and it looks like a glue stick. It actually has Arnica in it and Arnica is great for healing, again, bumps and bruises. So you don't wanna use it on open cuts or wounds, but when your kid runs and they fall and they just hit the coffee table funny or they run into walls, I don't know, kids do all sorts of things. Most of the time my kids end up with bruises that I don't even know how they got. And so having this, if you just stick this on there right away after they get that, um, then that bruise will go away almost instantly. It's insane. I've had it where a child has you know, run into something and gotten a bruise on their leg. I put it on there and when they wake up from their nap, it's completely gone. And so this is something that I always have I have one in my kitchen I have one in my diaper bag I have one in my car but you have to be careful with that in the summer that it doesn't melt but it's just a great tool to have that I think every parent should know about and final thing is to have small things for your kids to do yes it's great to have you know teething toys and books and things like that in your diaper bag but those things can get heavy so I actually have a few small diaper bag toys um, and again this is more geared towards you know um, toddler and maybe preschool age but 
is having quiet toys they can do. So I actually bought this at a fundraiser um, done by our homeschool co-op, but it would be super easy to make. All it is is a burlap sack from Hobby Lobby, and they just used some white puff paint to draw a tic-tac-toe board, right? And inside are rocks. Really big, but still you wanna watch them when they're using it just to make sure it doesn't become a choking hazard. But one, you know, one set is painted pink, one set is painted blue and they can play tic-tac-toe on the back. I love this because it's a quiet easy toy that the kids can use if we end up waiting for an oil change or again in the doctor's office waiting for our food to come in a restaurant and when you're listening to a speaker at a convention or a seminar or something this is a great thing to keep them quiet and occupied. I also have enjoyed doing um, small containers that are glued shut with different items in it. So it might be a pair of dice. It might be, um, we've made sensory bottles before with glitter and different trinkets from Dollar Tree that are just floating around buttons and things like that, that I will glue shut to make sure they don't open. And I'll put in small things, even like baby food jars are great for that. And to have something like that in there that's just quiet and can keep them entertained for a little while and um, is a great thing to just have on the go. And my older kids love it too. They love to get into the diaper bag and get out the few toys that we have for those kinds of things. So those are my five things that I love to have in my diaper bag that I never leave home without. And I wanna make sure that you guys have access to those. So for the things that you can purchase, I will be dropping links below on where you can get those or where I get them at least. And for the fun game ideas, I will see if I can find links to some instructions on those and we'll post those down below as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday on making the most of the little moments in homeschooling, home management, parenting, and everything in between. And so I hope you guys will subscribe, give us a like, a thumbs up, and a comment letting me know what you love to have in your diaper bag. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.